Good morning, my beautiful followers. How is everybody doing today? Hope everyone is having an amazing day. Throw me a love heart shower if you are having a great Monday morning and really off to that good start. How we start our weeks, our Mondays to me are so incredibly important. How we start our day is so incredibly important. If we start it with a positive at kind of thought process, if we start it with excitement for what's coming, it just really does change the entire week. But I got up this morning and I've got like a crazy hair situation going on because I'm about to go to yoga in a little while and I'm all yoga up and there's no makeup on because you don't wear makeup to hot yoga. Otherwise you end up having like severe eye pain as the makeup just like runs into your eyes. So anyway. Anyway, that is not what our, our topic is about today. So last night I was doing a little bit of journaling. Again, a couple of you know, as I've shared on a couple different live streams, I'm doing uh, another kind of self-exploratory course of my own to do my own work and, and really expand uh, my tantric practice a little bit more, actually. Um, and one of the things that I was doing last night is really exploring the sexual piece of Tantra. Because Tantra is not about sex, but it is not just about sex. Sex is a piece of it. But we're doing some really deep exploration of sex and love and, and all of those, those words that we use so often. But in truth, what is your sex? What is your sex? And yes, there is the sex as far as like your gender and then there's there's your sexual orientation. There is what you kind of own. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about like, what is sex to you? What is sex? I remember like growing up and with, and I'm not getting into any politics here, but I remember growing up and like with Bill Clinton and all that, everyone was like, oral sex is not sex. Well, Many people would actually disagree. I very much disagree. Oral sex is sex. But I also know some people who believe that kissing, like a deep kiss, that's sex. So my question to you guys really is, what is sex to you and why the heck are you doing it? Why are, I'm going to move you back because you seem really close to me today. Uh, not that I, I need my personal space. That is a boundary. No, um, I... I was really thinking about like, why do we sex? Why are you sexing? What is the purpose of your sex in your life? Uh, <clears throat> I often get people who go, sex isn't as, as, a, in, as important. I'm obviously struggling to talk this morning. Sex isn't as important as, you know, money or, you know, spending quality time with somebody or, you know, my children, or my business, and they, they take sex, which to me is actually one of the most important things that you can do in your life, if you're doing it correctly, if you're doing it with, with the intent that I personally have behind it, and I hope that you have behind your sex as well. But if you're just having sex to get that quick get off, if you're just having sex to go, oh yeah, I had a, a moment of, of pleasure, yeah, that was great, and then moving on, then I can totally see why your sex isn't important to you. And so my question to you, why do you sex? And I want you to really journal this out and really look at it. Why are you sexing? And I was, as I was diving deeper, it's like, well, sex to me in particular, and I'm gonna sh do more like personal shares on this because cause to, to be perfectly honest, everybody's sex is gonna mean something a little bit different to them. And for me, it really is a connective experience, but it's also a spiritual experience. When you are with a partner and they are, they are with you and you are either giving, that, giving pleasure or receiving pleasure, or actually giving and receiving pleasure, and your partner is so present with you and you guys are so connected, you can't help but feel God in the room. You can't help but feel so incredibly open. Your energy center is open. When you are in that deep, deep orgasmic place, and I'm not talking climax here, I'm talking that deep orgasmic place where everything else goes away and you are just, sens you are just sensation, you are just energy. 
you are just like a hot mess across the bed. That is, to me, the purpose of sex, the connective piece, the energetic piece, the connecting with somebody, that other person in your life or yourself. I learn so much more about me with every different partner, with every different sexual experience, even with the same partner. It is this diving deeper within self, this finding of the pleasure ceiling and then busting that shit open. And it's more than the physical pleasure because in truth, anybody who is, has really, and I mean really done their sexual work, knows that sometimes sex isn't always pleasurable. Sometimes you hit these energetic spots and it's like, whoo, that feels a little edgy. That feels a little vulnerable or a lot fucking vulnerable. Or that that actually might be a little sore or painful or, or, or really like rubbing on the wrong spot. But it's this like breathing in process of going like, like I'm going to breathe into my body. I'm going to allow here. I'm going to relax into the sensation because I know I'm coming up against something. And this is not to say that we need to go into sex in, in a, from a painful perspective because I don't think that that is true either. But anybody who knows about the physical body knows we hold so much in our genitals. We hold so much in our genitals and our also we hold so much energy in our hearts. And so if our genitals are really closed down, oftentimes so are our hearts. And so sex can actually be painful from a heart perspective of opening that up if we've not experienced that before. And so I am just curious, like, why are you having sex? And what is the, what is... What is your mission? A lot of times we go, no, I'm having sex to connect with somebody. I'm having sex to really, really have this beautiful spiritual experience, to have more intimacy in my life. Which sex and intimacy are not the same thing. But to really connect, to really step in there. So we go in with, with intention. If we were journaling it out, that's what we would say. However, I get people every single day in my office and they go, yeah, but I'm not getting a climax. Yeah, I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. And so I try to redirect because if we cannot focus on just the orgasm in the body, we're not going to get to that massive, beautiful orgasm where we are like, you're like peeling your, your woman or your man off the ceiling. You're not going to get there if you're not dropping into your body. If you're not feeling, if you're not experiencing the whole gamut, then you're not going to get to that level of sexing, you're gonna reach a ceiling with that. And so my question, and again, I've asked this several times is, why are you sexing? What is the purpose in your sexing? If the purpose in your sexing is to connect with your partner, are you really taking the time to connect with your partner? Are you really slowing the fuck down and really exploring them and feeling them and really getting into them and so incredibly present with them or are you going, when is she going to get off? When is he going to get off? When am I going to get off? If it is to explore your own personal body more, if it is to experience more pleasure in your body, are you dropping down into your body? Are you getting into those nitty gritty, beautiful, orgasmic feelings? And I mean like those feelings that are like, I feel a tingling across my chest. Oh, like I feel like my, my scalp is tingling right now and really really like engaged is it oh wow like that left toe really is making me giggle and bringing energy up those are points I bet you're not connecting with in your sex I bet you're not connecting with your with those areas of your body during your sex I bet so many of us will just go oh like I'm not feeling the general turn on the typical turn on so if that's the case, I want you to, if, you, if your goal in your sexing is just to connect with self and that is totally okay, are you really getting conscious? Are you really taking it to a new level? Or are you going, oh, I'm just, I'm gonna feel the pleasure and then that is me exploring my body. No, no. So do your journaling on this topic and then I want you to go and expand it out. 
expand it out go to that next level whatever that level is for you because it's going to be different for every single person on this live it's different for me different for you different from the other other little chat heads that are popping up on my screen i have so many people on thank you all for joining me today trevor kevin you guys saw sarah kelly chris thank you all for popping on so do that journaling, really dive deep into what the purpose of your sexing is, and then find that next level, that next technique, that next level of consciousness in order to get to your true goal and start practicing what you desire in the bedroom. And then even if you don't have a partner, because I hear this all the time, well, I can't do that because I don't have a partner. Well, guess what? You can still explore your sex even if you don't have a partner. You can explore self-touch. You can explore self-consciousness. I actually have a, a male masturbation, consciousness masturbation um, program running right now. It is nine sessions, and I'm doing this with my co-lead, Kendall Williams, where we split the sessions, and then we do some co co collaborative sessions together with you if you're a man. So check that out. I'll throw that link on there later. Um, it's a beautiful program, but you can connect with your own body. And then, in truth, we can connect with our body and our sex and our sexual energy because it all comes back to that sexual energy. We can all connect with that sexual energy throughout our day. Right now, I'm connecting with my sexual energy, feeling good in my new yoga pants. And, you know, I just did some beautiful meditation and breathing that really got the energy moving. And so I'm connected with my sex. And I'm not having sex. So that if you don't have a partner, and even if you do have a partner, that can be a beautiful way for you to expand your sex out. So get to your journaling, get to your, your stepping forward into those, those commitment exercises for the next few days. If you need help with this, because this can sometimes be difficult for people who have not done this kind of exploration before, please reach out to me at addisonbuild.net. I can do phone coaching. I do in-person coaching, I do video coaching. There is a program for everybody to fit your, your needs. So please reach out. Also, if I've said anything that really touched you, please like, share, comment. I love to hear your comments. I love to, to get this message out. And so please help me on that. Um, other than that, I have a bunch of events going on in the DFW area. So if you're in the DFW area, please check out addisonbell.net on my events tab. And then men, again, I have my men's conscious masturbation program running through December 1st. After December 1st, you cannot, cannot register for this program. This is only uh, a limited time registration. And then it is nine sessions with you, me, and Kendall Williams. And we're going to get you feeling more pleasure, feeling more arousal, feeling more turn on, and then bringing that to the bedroom potentially. So... All right, guys, uh, I am going to go do a few things before I head off to yoga. And I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, guys. Blessings.